So as you can clearly see, the skirting's just not quite finished yet. So we haven't added the covers or the gasket. And that's because there's one more step before we start to put that on, and that's the commissioning process. And this is the way we would go with it. So just like a radiator, the skirting's also got a bleed vent at the top. So as you introduce water into the system, we're literally just going to use a flat screwdriver or a little cross-headed screwdriver, start to unscrew the screw, and you should start to hear the air coming out of the screw. As you can see, there's water starting to come out of the top of the vent now. Once you've got water through there, you can lock that off and maybe fire the heating up. So once we've vented the thermoskirt, if there's um, any more air that's left in the system or this system isn't going, then it's generally down to possibly an air lock. So there is another option to sort of clear an air lock quite quick. And that's using a piece of 10 mil pipe off of the gas fitters out there, a piece of um, your gas pipe. Attach it to the bottom of the skirting on the drain cock at the bottom. Once you've attached it to the drain cock at the bottom, you can then open this vent with a flat screwdriver and actually force it through the, through the drain rather than the vent. As you can see now, this is forcing the water through the drain rather than through the vent. To completely purge the system, if you was to isolate every other radiator within the house and just leave the thermoskirt running, um, this will purge any of the final little air bubbles that may be caught in the skirting.